I got this beautiful action camera. And I'm here just, just to give my two cents on it. For the past couple of days, I've been using it. Once I went to the beach, it was slightly overcast, but still got some good footage. And I'll just be reviewing the footage with you guys. If you like that kind of stuff, you know, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll show you this is not like a cheesy, oh, go and buy the GoPro. The GoPro is the best and whatever. Nah, I tell about that. It's just like me just showing my just initial thoughts about it. I needed an action camera, so I had to buy it. I took my other own cash and I bought this camera. I had my my Osmo Action before this camera. I loved it. I miss it, you know. That was my baby. Put it through everything. I just stopped working on like a, a waterfall snorkeling trip. I don't know what happened. I think water went in it. I'm not sure. So yeah. So we're moving on right now, and right now we have a GoPro Hero 10. Just the feel of it, I like the feel of it. It feels like a, what the action cam should be like. Um, I like this right here. So you don't need any extra, it's like just right on it. Yeah, that feels durable, um, very robust, and I just like this. The touch screen is very interactive i love it the screen itself is very big the screen is very big if you like go underwater and you want to see what you're doing like that would be perfect so, for you. and i like the front screen the front screen has no delay it has a wide and a full look on the, the front screen very nice yeah i just i just like it. i like the feel the texture it smells good too but yeah first of all i shoot a hyperlapse to the beach and i think it was very very smooth um those cameras are known to shoot very good hyperlapse because of the stabilization and i find it performed well it it handled the lighting very well as i just had it on the dashboard as i'm driving and yeah it was very smooth you know st lucia roads not that not the best so it, there are a lot of bumps speed bumps and whatnot and the potholes and like it was just smooth you see the footage right now it's just yeah smooth. i went to the beach to test it out for sunset and it wasn't the best sunset it was very overcast the first shot i took was the 5.3k it was very beautiful 5.3k on standard there's also like three modes there's standard boost and flat and i took that on standard i find the footage straight out of the camera looks very good like very good I did a reel recently where I took a sunset shot. The ah. footage was just amazing. I couldn't believe, like straight from the GoPro to my phone. When I previewed it on my phone, I was like, wow. Instagram, you know, Instagram and they compress it. But on my phone, just amazing. Yeah. So that was one of the features of the GoPro I really liked. I did, I did ultra, ultra slow-mo, which is in 4K 120. And just me recording my dog running with, running with the camera just recording my god my dog and like it was very sweet like to have 4k in 120 very very beautiful i did some footage in 40 fps and it was it was very good as well i did also like super slow mo hd it was very very smooth very slow <laughs> one thing i would say i like about it apart from the last action cam that the slow mo can be played in real time Instead of playing it in slow-mo and waiting to see if you got the shot right or whatever, you just play it in real time, you see it, boom. Instead of like trying to fast forward, trying to wait for it. But I like that feature. Yeah, so moving on, I'm very impressed with the images as well. The images just look amazing. Um I'll put the I'll put the specs for the images on the screen. I can't get off the tongue right now, but just a lot of detail and i took a lot of shots with like i took a lot of shots in raw with just my my preset over it and a little tweaks and i find handle the edit very good i'll put those on the screen for you to see it's just very 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 i'm, nice. a, I'm a wide angle kind of guy i like wide lens yeah most of my lens are wide and i'm not really a portrait photographer or whatnot but sometimes i do get down with the portrait but Apart from that, like I like wide angle lens and the, the wide lens on the, the Hero 10, just amazing. Um, you'll find me shooting a lot with the Hero 10 for like 
Instagram Girl. because I really like it. I think it's it's better than my phone. In in terms of like straight out of camera kind of stuff, yeah, I should do, I'll be shooting with it. Trust me. Most of the shots you've seen right now are with the GoPro Euro 10, and I think it, it did very well. I took a few JPEGs. Just one thing I'd say if you're shooting super wide, it has a lot of distortion, so you won't get the horizon straight. If you're shooting with something in the horizon, I would advise to shoot super wide, but yeah. If you want the horizon straight, but you still want it wide, you shoot wide. And also there's a linear mode, which is very cropped in. Not really a fan, but wide and super wide, that's my settings I like to play with there. I like the kind of distorted look, like especially when you, you take the shot in portrait, uh, it's just amazing. Yeah, so the Hero, the Hero 10, a piece of a camera a lot of amazing features and it's just very nice i would say there are a few problems I'm, i came across i don't know if it was my gopro hero every time the gopro hero is not in use for a long time i find myself having to reset it a couple times before it it really comes on like i don't know if the cpu has to like heat up before it start before it starts to get going like i reset it like a couple times and then it works fine i don't know if that's some kind of error mine has or if they'll fix it in the next firmware update but it's it's up to date with the firmware i don't i don't i i find like for something so expensive we shouldn't have that problem but yeah yeah i'll leave with it if you have that problem let me know that's just a, a real tile yeah. also with all the features especially the high res I find the battery doesn't last. Like when you shoot in 5.3K or 4K, the battery will not last long enough. So I'd recommend you get a couple batteries for this. This is my two cents on the GoPro Hero. It's a very nice camera to have in your pocket on the go and just shoot. You can vlog with it. You can take photos with it. You could catch. It's for action spots. So for damn sure you could catch action spots with it. The feature, I wanted the Osmo Action too because you know, I want to stick to one brand, but I just didn't like the pricing and the style of it. The more. Yeah, I just I just didn't feel it. And it was too expensive. Like you spend like 500 US and you still have to buy, if you want to buy extra battery or whatnot, you pay like 70 US. If you like seeing that kind of travel vibe and just seeing the world through another person's eye, you could subscribe to my channel, like the video, show a little support. Yeah. Just starting out, just like I probably had at right now, I have like probably 300 subscribers. Yeah, so let's make something great happen. I start subscribing and get those subscribers up. You know, motivate me to put more content wow. out there. Let's move on. Let's 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 start a community.